when did it occur to you that this is what I need to do? That, like, when did you're like, I know what I want to do and I want to move to Africa and I want to do this. <laughs> well, I mean, whatever it is, when did that happen? And, 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 you know. So when I, when I did American pie, it was the first time I was in a position to give back and long story short, I just realized I wanted to start my own animal rescue. So I started a dog and cat rescue called animal Avengers. Yep ran it that way for over 10 years, and then knew I wanted to help more animals on a bigger scale and went on this long quest to figure out what that was. I didn't know how to revamp the charity, but I wanted to do something else with it. And through my own process of figuring myself out, um, I was I had sold my house in LA. I was looking for another place and then just realized I didn't want to be in LA anymore. Went to New York. And when I was in New York, I started somehow paying a lot of attention to conservation organizations. And there was um, an ivory and rhino horn uh, crush in Times Square that I got invited to. And I met a bunch of conservationists there and started following everyone online. And there was one video that I came across, like literally I was getting ready to go to dinner. I was doing my makeup and something said check Instagram. And I didn't know what I was checking for, but I was scrolling on Instagram and I came across this video of an elephant that had been poached. And the ranger was filming as he was walking and saying, this poor baby's been out here all night suffering. And as you see, you you saw her trunk off to one side and then you saw her face and then she moved. And that hit me like a ton of bricks. The fact that she was still alive and this had happened to her. And I never till that moment realized that these animals were getting their their ivory and their horns taken off while they were alive and they were feeling every cut. And that that's what changed it for me. And that was that was. 2014 oh going into 2015. I just felt that, didn't you? Jesus, just you explaining that to me, I just like felt it. It it changed me. I I the whole night I was thinking about it. I was trying not to cry at dinner. I I couldn't get it out of my mind. And I said, that's what I want to do with the charity. The fact that these animals, these big majestic animals like elephants, could go extinct in our lifetime. And we're we're here doing nothing. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, we all got to go see an elephant or a rhino at some point, maybe when we were younger or anywhere. You know that they're on the planet with you. But then to leave the planet one day and they're not there anymore, that's, that that didn't compute with me. So I started going to South Africa to learn and to understand what the issue was and try to find ways I could help and make a difference and in the process, just decided I was going to move here and spend more time here. And and uh, I ended up getting married and we revamped the charity to be the Shan Elizabeth Foundation for now. It'll change eventually soon, hopefully. Um, but now we we have a blind black rhino that we take care of. We just built a sanctuary for him. And- Manu? Huh? Is that Manu? Manu. 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 Yeah. And uh, we're going to bring some females over so he can breed. He's already he's already doing this thing where I've realized that he's checking for female pheromones to see if they're around. So I know he's ready for it. And and we're filming it all to be a docu series. So at this point, we we just we need more funding. We need to up the security to bring the females over. We we have more parts of the sanctuary we need to do, and um, we're talking to different broadcast partners for the for the docu series. So it's the the first time I'm really bringing my two worlds together, and um, I'm I'm directing it, but I'm going to co-direct it. I'm actually I, I'm actually looking for the right co-director to do the rest of it with me. I have some ideas, so. <laughs> 